Hi everyone! Ignore the fact that the game screen is black right now. Uh, it won't be for long. But yeah, did you guys like the, the new loading screen? I, <laughs> I love it. I totally wasn't trying to leave it up for... For longer, just to show it off. But yeah, how, how is everybody? You guys can see it now, right? I think you can. Let me get the... The, uh... Da, da, da. Yeah. My chat is small. Why is my chat small? Konnichiwa, yaho. My chat is tiny. Wait. <laughs> what? You guys are gonna watch me mess with my chat for a second. I'm gonna turn on the background so... We can have a... Oh, okay. <laughs> Loading screen is nice, thank you. <laughs> Bruno, no! Don't diss yourself like that! Alright. I'm gonna get us a better chat box. And hopefully, uh... It's not so... so strange anymore. Uh... I'm making the words bigger, you guys. Okay. They should be good now. So today, we are playing spooky games. Not just today, but... All week, we're doing spooky things. And it's gonna be great! Chat box! Yeah! It's gonna be great! Uh... Wait, I, I, uh, I, um, um, yeah. Wait, <laughs> this port of call business looks neat. I'm not sure if it's, uh... I'm not sure if it's, uh... Necessarily a spooky game. I mean, it said it was, but... I'm not sure if it's like more of a like thriller than a uh, spooky if you get if you get my drift if you catch my vibe but I still think it looks pretty cool and that I I get scared of, uh, with everything so <laughs> it'll be spooky for me um let me see if uh if things might look weird for a second. I'm making sure that you guys can hear it. Does that sound okay? I hope it sounds okay. Uh, ignore how the game is cut in half right now, uh... <laughs> I'm looking at the, uh... Let me know, let me know if it's too loud. I don't think it is, but... Yup, doodle all right, I'm I'm fixing the window now. Okay, it should be normal now. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna dive right into Portacol. I hadn't I haven't read anything about Portacol, so I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, which is why I'm playing this earlier in the day so I don't get scared at night time. <laughs> But yeah, let's dive right in. Oh, how's everybody's day before I start? Are we all staying hydrated? I'm having a great day. I have a mango, a mango drink today. For my fun drinks on top of water. You guys want to drink together before we start? I'll count down. Three, two, one, drink! That mango drink of bussin. Ah! <laughs> I dropped the I dropped the lid. Um it's gonna stay down there for now. But yeah, stay hydrated everybody. I'm sorry. 
I keep bumping things. Ignore me. Okay. Alright, let's dive right in, gamers. Alright. West. Wait, to walk? Use mouse to look, left click to interact. Okay. What? That scared me. Oh, there's a person! Look at- This game style's cool. Okay. So we can walk, we can't jump. Uh... Water... Nighttime... Oh, we're on a dock! There's like nothing- Oh, there's a lighthouse! Okay. So if I look down, then I stop walking. Uh... I can't run. This is so scary. <laughs> Already. Alright. Let's go... Let's go... Let's go talk to this person. It looks scary already, you guys. Look at that. Oh. What? You saw that disappear? Guys. Oh my... <laughs> okay. Broken lantern. The lamp looks broken. No point messing with it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's go talk to this person. I wasn't expecting to get scared so soon. I thought... I thought I was gonna, like, <laughs> be cool. Hi! Oi. He's talking! Oh my goodness. Wait. Is the volume too loud? Okay. Let me fix it. Okay, that looks it. Alright. I'm fixing the screen now, you guys. Don't worry. There we go. Hello, yaho! Welcome to the stream! <clears throat> I can't tell if the music is too loud or not. You guys will have to let me know. It's loud to me, but I just might be, like, weird. Oi, you there. You're late. Wait for what? Let me know if the music's too loud, because I, I I cannot tell. Wait for what? Where am I? Where the hell did you come from and who are you? Yeah, that was pretty much my response when he popped up out of nowhere. Uh, a tiny bit loud. Okay. Oh, let me dabble. My game do be a little off-center. Here we go. Now you guys are symmetrical. <laughs> okay. It should be... Is it good now? I hope so. Wait. I don't want to peek. What happens if I mess with my volume? I can make myself super quiet, you guys. <laughs> Wait. Is this- is this okay? Oh, you're late! <laughs> I'll keep myself in the- the yellow. Here, here. Ah, I don't want to peek. Alright. I'm putting the music down there, and then hopefully... It stays good. Hi, welcome to the stream, Yahoo! Okay. Is it good now? It looks good. Alright, wait. Should we do leave for what? Where am I? <laughs> I made myself quiet. Uh, let's do... Uh... Uh, where am I? I think you know perfectly well why you're here. Why you're here. <laughs> Hashtag gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Wait, I didn't read that part. Did you say I'll see you on the bridge? Come on now, get! Wait, can we do that again? No? 
I like his. Oh. I like it. Oh, he's gone. I turned around and he disappeared. Uh. All right, we're getting on the boat, you guys. Oh. I got an achievement. He did not answer the question. Oh, we're stuck here. I'm, I'm tired of turning around and things changing. Where do we go? Oh! Hey, giraffe. Lines and shapes wouldn't have pegged him. Pegged him! Pegging! Wouldn't have pegged him as an art guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was out of pocket. Globe. Maybe we're out in the middle of the Atlantic. Maybe. Africa. What else? Bookies. I can. <laughs> I accidentally dropped your book through the floor, sir. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I'm making a mess. What? You guys want to stack them? <gasps> I want to make a tower. <laughs> stack! This is so fun! Why haven't I been playing horror games this whole time? Look at this! What? Let's go! <laughs> no! No! This is how horror games should be played, you guys. Rotary phone, it's a shame this thing is an antique. I don't know, you guys, this game's kind of peaceful. Can I open this? Oh! Oh my gosh, okay. Should I- should I look at these? Or should I, like... Interact with him first? Postcards? Who sends postcards to this guy? Negotiating with children 101. He's not great with other ages either. I don't know, I like him. Even though he was a bit- a bit spooky. Nothing in there. Crumpled paper doesn't seem written on. The books are very wobbly. Yes, they are. We'll stack them before we go. No! There we go. It's art. Alright, sir. Hello. Alright, to business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it then, what? I'm the captain on this here hunk of scrap, and I'll have no more dilly-dallying. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dementia! Great, they've sent me another idiot. Excuse me! I did not read that part. Something about hands. That's all I saw. I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off with on a simple task, though. If that's not too hard for, for your wee little brain. There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Go get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. If you're feeling a little bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of ya. <laughs> you guys like my voice acting? Are we even moving? Are we even going anywhere? Oh! Oh! Shadow people! Black people! We're not even moving- you guys- oh. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, okay, we left the dock. I'm tired of turning around and things moving about. I really am. Uh, 
Okay, we have to go get that little girl's ticket. Uh, do you guys think there's jump scares in this game? The book! It's floating! <laughs> do you guys know that meme? The table one? It's like, oh no! Our book! It's floating! <laughs> Is it moving? Is it coming closer to me? Oh no, it's not. Oh no. -uh. There's shadow people in there. Okay. Uh... Oh my gosh. Me after acorn squash? Okay. I don't want to go in the shadow people room. Uh... Is this her? Is this her? Uh, your, your room? Oh, dollhouse. It doesn't look inhabited. These books are floating. Mirror. Cutesy, but it doesn't do its job. Ball and cup. This is different. <laughs> Ball and cup. Horror game. There's probably jump scares. Great. Looking forward to it. Ball and cup. Too many hours were spent playing this game. I have a book, a crayon. <clears throat> oh, I picked it up. What do I need it for? Can I? You know what? You need to learn how to behave. You can't be making these books fly all about. No more book flying and get your books off the ceiling. Children these days, am I right? You can't just you can't just throw your books everywhere. Alright, I'm taking this crayon. Oh. Book? Chest? More books. Should I put all the books in the chest? Should we clean her room up for her? And why are the doors like that? Maybe that's just how doors are on boats and I'm just dumb. Toy train, choo choo, I guess. I'm a bit too old to what? I'm a bit too old to playing with toys. Grandfather clock. Well, the ticking on these things always drives me nuts. Uh... Okay. I guess we talk to her now. Can't wait. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh... Don't eat me! Ex oh, this- this audio. Oh, who are you? Oh, she's not scared of me. Nobody, I guess. The fairy man sent me. The boogie man sent you. Are you gonna eat me? I'm not going to eat you. I'm here for your ticket. I'm not a kid. I hate it when Marcus calls me that. I'm almost six and a half, thank you. Are you a scary friend of the boogie man? He's a grouch, but he doesn't look like a monster. He stomps around and makes weird noises. That's scary and weird. Speaking of weird, why are you here by yourself? I'm not sure. Thinking about it makes me feel funny. What is this boat? Are we all just like here randomly? I like your character design though, it's cool. Oh, I was playing with Ted's. Who is Ted's? Tez is the best despair in the world. He's my best friend. The last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Did you find Tez? What? <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be something there. Okay, good, there's nothing. I don't wanna... There's something creepy about this chest. There is? All right, <laughs> I'm looking for your bear. Uh, okay, it's still it's still looking normal. Is the bear in here? <laughs> Do you guys think I'm gonna get jump scared? I need to drink some mango. I'm not. I can't, <laughs> I can't play these games by myself, you guys. But I guess you guys are here. 
my berry droids are here. I don't want to go inside of the ship, so I'm just going to walk around and look for the bear outside elsewhere. Oh, I can look in the windows. I won't get jump scared if I look through the windows. And then we can see if it's sussy or not. Oh, I saw that moving thing and I was like, what? Okay. I... I hear something. It was very quiet. Oh, it's my footsteps. Oh, <laughs> Okay, those rooms looked safe, so I'm gonna go in that one. <clears throat> Can I talk to the shadow people? No? Remember when I said that this game was, like, peaceful and relaxing? I don't think so anymore. I think the opposite now. <laughs> oh! My own footsteps are, like, scaring me. Oh, it's the bear! I'm gonna walk in here. I'm gonna walk in here. I don't want to get... <laughs> These books. Oh. Ah! Magic. The bed is kind of sideways, though. Um... Okay. Got the bear. Walking backwards. I know this game loves to put random things behind you. Okay, I got you your bear. But oh, she's not crying anymore. Hi. Now she's happy. I missed you so much, but the music is- the music is not it. Hmm. The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. Who is Marcus? Marcus is my big brother. He is nice and funny and silly and a dork. We were playing hide-and-seek when... What happened? The three of us were playing hide-and-seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to go hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. I climbed in, but the lid fell down and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy, I couldn't lift it off. Uh... These are both- they're all good questions, like I've been struggling to pick one this whole time. Uh, what happened next? I called for Marcus as loud as I could, but he didn't come. It was so dark and I couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. Why didn't Marcus find me? I accidentally clicked it. I don't know what that said. Yeah, he always liked being a seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. That's so sad! Because they were playing hide and seek and he never found her. Do you think he wanted to find me? So what I'm getting at here is that... Everybody here was kind of like teleported here, but I could be very wrong. <laughs> I think Marcus wanted to find you. He seems like a good kid, just like you. I think you're right. Okay, so the girl is good, I think. I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. What? Acid trip? That- that girl just disappeared. Uh... Her ticket? Is everybody here dead? Oh? Lily's ticket. Did we know her name before? Was it Lily? It's closed now. Um... Okay. I got Shadi's ticket. I kind of made a mess of his... <gasps> we can spin it! You spin my head right around. <laughs> right around. I got... 
You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely inept. The girl, Lily, made it sound like she was dead. Wait, she did? I thought- I thought we just all teleported here. These are all, like, valid things. <laughs> Do I look like I care? It doesn't matter. Wait, she's dead and so most- so's most everyone on this wreck. Everyone's dead? Am I supposed to have a bleeding heart? Every time some kid shows up here with a sob story. Bah! Anyway, I got another job for you now, laddie. Use the lift at the end of the hallway. And go talk to the drunkard at the bar. I can't understand a thing the fat man says. And I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. He's rude, but I, I like him. He's my favorite. No, no, no. The girl's my favorite. He'll be my second favorite. Okay. So... It seems more creepy than jump scary, so I think I'll be okay. You guys wanna look in here? Bed. Paper. Does it say anything important? Can I read this? He knew it was... Uh... I can kind of read that, but it's so small. Or else I'd read it for you guys. <clears throat> Have you guys ever written with a pen like this? It's really fun. Lots of paper everywhere. Bouquet of flowers, how pleasant. I shouldn't turn around so fast like that, because... Into the elevator! Pago the bridge. I've never had a chance to really travel. Oh! Up we go! I'm scared, you guys. What are you- Oh! It's not scary. He's the only one here, though. Do you guys want to play some tunes? Am I gonna get copyrighted? I don't think this is a song, but... Okay, I, th I think we're good. Abstract flowers. At first glance, I thought it was just a painting of crumpled paper. Okay. Hi, drunk man! Huh? Oh, what? Not now, I'm waiting for the bartender, young man. I wish he'd get here soon. He told me- he told me to talk to you, though. Oh, am I supposed to be the bartender? Draft faucets. I'll be the bartender. Now this is vinyl. Oh, there you are. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. Uh... What are you talking about? The ferryman sent me. Did he now? That old Kermagion must have gotten sick of my nagging. Well, how about it then? Want to serve an old man a drink? This reminds me a lot of the, the uh, Ina, Ina short films. I'm not the bartender, Gramps. Just give me your ticket. Uh, I'll play along, I guess. What do you want? Cheers. Let's see. How about we start with something simple? Yes, I think a gin and tonic will do nicely. Uh... How do I make alcohol? Up. Uh... Juniper. Bearded Sailor. Potato. William. What's over here? Uh... Oh! There's more. Okay. Uh... Yeah, oh no! Um... Uh... Uh... I'll get you another cup, don't worry. Um... Okay. Oh, um... I... I haven't... I haven't done this in a while. I'm... I'm a bit unexperienced. Oh. Um... 
Okay. This one will... Oh. Um. I... No! Alright. We got plenty... We got plenty of cups left to continue trying with. We'll get it right, you guys. We'll get it right. Um... Uh, I thought it, um, oh, it's in the ceiling now, um, what about up there, uh, we're running out of cups, well, I guess, I guess we have a bunch, um, I'll try this one, uh, I can't tell, cause they're like, diamonds, uh, was there even any gin and tonic? Juniper delight. There's no gin and tonic. Okay. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you guys. Okay. Am I just, like, not seeing it? Uh... Let's just get- oh! Jin! That was... Wrong! What? What? oh I don't think I did that right. I did that right at all. Uh, okay. Here you go. That's not what I asked for. Uh, I got an achievement of bad barkeep. Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. Uh, right, Jen? Uh, cola. How do I- how do I find the tonic? Okay, this is gin. Tonic, yes! Here you go. That's the stuff. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? Uh... The ferryman told me everyone on the ship was dead. Do you think I'm dead? Well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that- but if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. Do you remember how you died? Or how can I tell if I'm dead? Now that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everybody. Give it some time though, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And do you remember how you died? Uh, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one with a particularly happy ending either. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. I uh, had a daughter once a long time ago. Suffice to say she died in an accident when she was young. And my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then. And while well, I took to drinking. It eventually did me in. Now then, how about another drink? Yeah, it's, you're living up to that. Or I guess not living up. Dying up to that. <laughs> I think I'm feeling some old-fashioned rum and cola this time. I know where the cola is because I I effed it up. Rum! Cola! Drink it! Shot, 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 shots! I'd tip you well if I had any money, that is. Now, what were we talking about? I didn't know the ghost could get hammered. Look, I can't remember anything before getting on this boat. I can't even recall my name. No, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. What? You get it? Floating because we're on a boat and... <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we get a little fancier? How about some vodka with orange juice? Is this what, a, like, drunken adults drink? Orange juice. Orange... Bod, that's rum. Uh, 
Uh, vodka, vodka. Orange juice. That, that's some strong drink. Thanks, Marcus. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a nap now. What did you call me? Oh! What was that? What was that in the... What is that? You guys. You guys. You guys. I, uh, 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 that's the thing at the beginning, you guys. <laughs> and that one doesn't look like friendly like the other ones. She was always scary, you guys. I mean, I guess they all look scary, but they've all been nice so far. So I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna woman up and approach it. I'm. I, I've, I've come to collect your ticket. I've come, I've come, I've come to collect your, your, your ticket. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Uh, okay. Uh, go down. I don't wanna. Was it vibrating this much before? Oh! If I see that woman one more time, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go crazy. Don't. Don't be looking at. Yeah, disappear. T tired of her. Hello, sir. I have his ticket. I see you got the old drunk people's ticket. Good job, I suppose. All right. Well, I don't have time to humor your every fancy right now. The choppy waters require my full. Wait a minute. The hell is that woman doing out on the boat? Why well, you there? Get off me, boat! You're blocking the view. The woman. I knew he was gonna tell me to go talk to her. Bloody girl's not listening. Go, go out there and get her to move. Why me, you guys? I can't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just, uh, yeah. Why is she gonna look like that? And why do I have to talk to her? I just have to get her to move, and every time I approach her, she disappears, so... I guess I just walk up to her, and then... All the ghosts have been nice so far, right? So... Hi! We're talking to her. Hello. You're the first person I've seen on the ship who doesn't look dead. Me or her? But your face is blurry. Why are you here? I could ask you the same question. I'm here to collect your ticket. Or isn't everyone on the ship supposed to be dead? They are dead. We're all dead. At least I thought we all were until I saw you. I wonder, have you talked to the fairy man? Uh, yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. He sent me for your ticket. How is he not dead? I see. Well, he's the captain of the ship, not a passenger. He takes travelers to their destination, wherever that is. He doesn't reach it until he has received all of the tickets from the passengers. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. Someone? I don't see anyone else getting on a moving ship. Yes. I can't remember exactly who he is or how he will get here. But I will wait for him. I just can't remember what he looks like. Have you tried walking around and talking to people here? I've met some interesting individuals. I've spoken with everyone I know on the ship. They are innocent, delusional, and pessimistic. I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are you talking about the black silhouettes on the ship? Oh, so those are separate things. I mean shadow in a more figurative way. Those people that you cannot see are people you do not know. This person is someone I know, but he is not his whole self. Oh, I missed it. Yes, he is missing a large part of himself. 
His shadow feels like the embodiment of negativity. His mask haunts me. Did this person help you remember who you are looking for? I didn't speak to him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say, mostly hurtful. I could not see his face as he was wearing a mask like the others. He does not sound very nice. I don't think I've met the guy. He is not very nice. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. The elevator is a little strange. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I can get trapped in there with somebody. Could you help me get down there? If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. This mask weighs on me, so... It doesn't seem heavy. What's up with the masks anyway? The masks seem to be our new identity as we travel on the ship. I don't feel like my body has any weight, but the mask burdens me. It feels heavy in a way I've never felt. I don't know how much longer I can stay. Think about this person you were waiting for. Who is he? He was the one who waited for me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here. But it seems like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. I see. Can you remember anything else about him? When I think about him now, I see the mask of the man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Maybe the ferryman has answers. No, he cannot help me. This is so sad. I think she's waiting for her husband, but I'm not sure. Find the boiler man. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. What? Alice? White? Okay, I'm not scared of her anymore. She was scaring me a lot before. But I, I think I need to be less judgmental of things in this game. So I know everyone uh. I've spoken to. Spoke to her, did you? Bloody annoying, isn't she? At least she's out of the way. Well, don't you have something you ought to be doing? I'm busy here and you have business downstairs. Go on, get. Uh. Ah, I didn't mean to repeat it. Okay. Uh, we're going in the basement. I see a thing. Oh, okay, that's the wall. I was like, there is a thing in the elevator. Down we go. Can't wait, you guys. I need to drink my mango. This is getting scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. That scared me. Uh, the boiler man. Can I grab these? No. Hi. <laughs> Oh. At the end of his time, the man fr from the boy... What? The man from the boy finally emerges. But is he a coward still, or will he face his wrath? Will he let the sands trickle out? Or has he the courage to turn back the hands of fate? What is he talking about? <laughs> the, the ferryman sent me to get your ticket? Yo-ho, welcome to the stream, thank you for coming. I'm just gonna ignore everything he said and get his ticket. And like a pawn, you move where he commands without a thought to the reason or overall plan. Do you wonder at all what the reason might be that you that, that saw you wake up on a dock out at sea? Why is he talking like this? I've been asking. I've asked everyone on this godforsaken boat and no one can give me a damn answer. Perhaps a small mercy they granted unto you. But no such compassion I bestow upon a craven such as you. The answer you sought, I give to you now. A shattered soul taken to an edge, slickened, slickened wrist brought about an end. Uh. <laughs> Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the latter. Shattered soul, sickened wrists, what are you implying? With all of the- with all the pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. Why are you talking like a wizard? It was your hand that slew you. Yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others found themselves here. So everybody I've spoken to is tied to me somehow. I 
didn't murder them, I'd never murder anyone. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. An action can be just as strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. Wait, 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 wait. So, we've spoken to this guy, the woman, the drunk guy, and the girl. And I remember the girl, he said that his daughter died having an accident and the girl got stuck in a chest when she was hiding. So... Would she have been his daughter? Are they all tied? But then that would have this- I thought this would have been the husband then. Nice poem, dude. <laughs> yes! Okay, she's six. The sister. I pieced it together. Game theory. The sister dead of neglect at age six. The father drummed in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally the woman waiting for the man who never came. Uh? Am I... Am I the brother? So... Huh? I, I don't see what I clicked because it clicked it so fast. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. Okay, I am the brother. You were in charge of her, something you resent. That big brother watched her. As he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin taken too soon. I am so confused. That's not true, but I always took care of her. All the sadder the lie that the teller believes. But in the end, you may fool yourself, but you cannot deceive me. So let the weight of the truth crush you underneath. You alone are responsible, guilty, and cul culpable. How am I- So was he saying that I caused the entire family's deaths because I lost my sister, and then the mom died because she was sad, and then that the husband drunk himself to death? Uh, that's not what happened at all. The only liar here is you. You still have questions and I have answers. The fuck? Is it a poem? My father, that drunk man, was my dad? Of course, who else could he be? But he was a loving father. But was he a loving father or an uncontrollable... Debushi? I wonder what kind of love compels a man to the bottle. Where he seeks solace and spirits instead of spirits or spirits instead of his last child. Uh, I don't know. I can't speak for him. One more quarrel I have with you before a resolution is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the one the woman was waiting for. Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave, awash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again, ignorant of the results your actions would spawn. Alice called you a shadow of the person she was looking for. What did she mean? Though it stares you in the face, you still do not see. Who is this guy, though, like, in the whole story? Flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side shows me. What? I am everything you hate, all you regret. Woven into one person, your greatest laments. What? I thought that the dad was Alice's husband. But how can I how can I be the son, the brother, and the husband? Incest? Alas, it seems the need for me is done. I that didn't that get, that left me with more questions than answers. Though do not believe that you have won. One more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. I was sure that that was my mom. Oh! Okay, it's not too scary. I got the Rite of Passage achievement. Black and orange, flames or a scaly surface. Alright, we're going back up. We're gonna talk to our wife and be a gentleman. I'm still not sure what I did wrong, but... Oh! Ah! Everyone is gone! 
Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. Where is she? Bestie. Where is she at? Her destination. Is everybody over here? The gang, the gang's all here. Okay, that that's the woman. That's the guy. Do we want to talk to him first, or? Oh, there's two different doors. Are we gonna have to make a choice? Well, the cat's out of the bag now, laddie. There's no happy ending here. No sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make and I don't envy you one bit. Wait! I was supposed to read her first. Wait, wait. I'm gonna skip through this. I'm gonna skip through that and then come back. If I can, I hope I can. All right, I'm gonna talk to her first. It's you. I can see you now. The boiler man is gone now. Not gone. In this world, the boiler man was a manifestation of your negative emotions. He's always been a part of you. But you're in control now. How did you come back? Everything went dark and then I heard a voice. It was you, you brought me back. But now you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroads. This place is special. You saw it before I did. It's a junction between the world of the living and the life beyond. It's time to decide. What choice do I have? I'm just a passenger. You're special, Marcus. I hope you know that. I do. You're both a part of this world. Wait. You're both a part of this world and the world we both came from. But it can't be that way when... Once you walk through one of these doors. I won't hold anything against you. I love you. And I know I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you will travel to a life beyond with everyone you've met on this ship. That's it? Wait. Is this life? Oh. The cat's out of the bag. There's no happy ending here. No sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make, and I don't envy you one bit. Know that if you, close if you choose this door to go back to the world of the living... There might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by and wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be a different ship. Or maybe it won't be a ship at all, I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice. And I can't stay here forever until you choose. Go on. So, but... But she said that, uh, she, we would, that she would see us again. So shouldn't I go back to the living and then I'll see her again when I die? I mean, do we have any reason to go back? Because our whole family is dead, right? So I'm going to go in here. Achievement unlocked the other side. Are we going to get an ending? Huh? The music? I'm scared, you guys. <laughs> oh my god! Why is it white? Me when the game's not responding? But the music is still coming through? What did I do? I broke it. I, I went to heaven and I broke it. You guys can hear my dog? At the same volume that I speak. Why? Eh? <laughs> Wait. 
when you go to heaven, you hear dogs barking. Did I finish the game? Is it just... Or did I break it? Was I not supposed to choose that? Ah! Game over? Wait. Was that a bad ending? Should I- should I try to get the other ending? Do you want to speed run it? I want to see what happens on the other one, cause... Alright, we're gonna speed run it, guys. I want to see what happens at the other ending. So she disappears, we talk to him. Speed run. All right, we're speed running it, guys. I want to see what the other ending is like. Boy. It shouldn't. It shouldn't take too long. All right. I'm not scared anymore. I won't. I won't get jump scared. All right, gotta talk to her. <laughs> I'm still not sure the whole story because I thought that I was the son but maybe there's like a fan theory somewhere maybe we can get we can get game theory on it teddy bear ah. And I'm Marcus. Oh yeah, she's gone. I go over here. I give them her ticket. I go... I have to go make that guy his drinks again. All three. <laughs> Achievement Arconosaur. All right, what can I get for you? Without some music. Okay. I'll go turn on some music, shoddy. Oh. Alright. Someone's gonna join and be like, Why aren't you reading the dialogue? That's so important. Gin and tonic. Do I remember? Gin! Tonic! Drink! <sighs> Oh. Vodka, orange juice, vodka, orange juice. Drink it. Shot, shot, <laughs> shot, shot. Ah. Rum, cola together. Cola. Tonic. I did it wrong. Uh, what was it? Orange juice, rum, cola, drink. That that lady still scares me. Even though she's my wife, I'm supposed to love her, right? Down we go. I wanna. If if nothing happens when I pick life, I will be so upset. But I- I think I picked the wrong choice, like... I'm not sure. Alright. Now we go talk to this lady. Ah! I got stuck. <laughs> 
speed run it. You guys can probably hear me like clicking aggressively. Okay, now we go talk to ourself in the basement. Oh! Did I get her ticket? No? Okay. And then I go here. Uh. Take it! Uh. Okay. Now, this is- this is where, uh, we were like five minutes ago. Down! It still scares me a little bit. So I was like, uh... What if it's one of those games where, like, it changes every time you play through it? Alright. Now we're gonna go pick life. Oh, did we get a ticket? No, we didn't. We left it there. Ah. went down into the ocean. And everybody's gone. And then we walk over here. to talk to them again. Alright, in we go. Do I have to talk to them first? I think so. Uh, speed run the important conversation. The game did kind of, it kind of made me sad, though. The music is pretty, though. Alright, in we go! I was just like, yep, bye wife. I got the no place, like, home achievement. The music is different. What? Was this the right ending? What? Ah. Ah. Wait! Huh? So that was the other ending. I'm so confused. Were we in a coma? Are we- did we come back to life? That was a good game though, you guys. I wasn't expecting it to be that way. I'm not playing it again, I'm just like messing- I'm trying to, uh, close out of it. Give me one second. Ah, there. That was a good game though, you guys. Did you guys like it? I liked it. Oh, I forgot to say. If you guys like this game and you want to play it for yourself, it is free on Steam. So you can go take a gander, yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, what else? I I am playing another game tomorrow. Another spooky game. Uh... And thank you, and faith always, for the subscription. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my schedule's pretty crowded this week. I had a fun time playing this. This it wasn't too spooky. I think it was a pretty, it was a pretty good first, allegedly spooky game. I think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. 
uh, yeah, um, Hanako is, uh, let's see, what news? Hanako is doing a new cover on Wednesday, 3.45 p.m. Central Time, I believe. Uh, so we'll check that out when it airs or premieres. Uh, it was Mitzi's birthday on, uh, the 22nd, I want to say. Let me check. I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> I believe, yeah, it was the 22nd. So I'll make sure everybody goes to give her birthday wishes. And also, Mitzi is debuting on uh, Wednesday as well, on the 27th, at 6 p.m. Central Time. Or CST, I want to say it's the same thing, but I don't want to get it wrong. But yeah, lots of stuff happening this week. And also, first cover is coming out. My first cover is coming out on Saturday. Super excited. And I'm having a great time this week. Lots of fun. Very busy. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for another spooky, spooky scream. Stupid, yeah. <laughs> spooky scream. Spooky stream. Yes. But yeah, this game was... I, I, I was going to call it cute, but that's kind of weird. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, I will, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all so much for spending the last hour and, uh, 16 minutes with me. Uh, I can't, I can't wait to see you guys again. I hope you all have a great rest of your days and night. And thank you, Berry Droids. I love you. Bye-bye.